Well, welcome back. Temperatures on the comfortable side today would have hoped for a little bit more sunshine, but the clouds pushing up from southern areas of Pennsylvania overspreading our viewing area, and we've seen some peaks of sun here and there trying to shine through those uh, mid level clouds. Uh, and uh, well, what's going to happen tonight is that storm system scoots by to the east and high pressure over southern Canada will bring drier air down our way. So the clouds will dissipate through the overnight period. We'll be left with mostly clear skies and uh, seasonably cool temperatures overnight. Normal low this time of year is 32 and that's about where we should end up by tomorrow morning. Mostly sunny skies for Wednesday and for most of Thursday, although a few more clouds will push our way late in the day Thursday in advance of our next storm system. I think our next best chance for rain will be late Thursday night and into Friday. But temperatures over the next several days remaining in the 60s, typically we're in the mid and upper 50s for highs this time of year. So we're doing pretty good in the temperature department, just not as warm as what we had yesterday. 60 currently in Hornby, 61 in the Glen, 65 in Wellsburg, Sarah at 60 degrees, 56 in Wellsville, Danville at 62. So fairly uniform temperatures all across the viewing area this evening. There's that one area of low pressure over the mid Atlantic region sliding off towards the east, and that's going to pull the thicker cloud cover off to the east as well. At the same time, high pressure over the northern Great Lakes region will slide by to the south and east and tend to whittle away at some of this cloud cover here as we go through the overnight period. So the trend will be to have skies becoming mostly clear. The precipitation you see off to the south will stay off there uh, this evening and into early tomorrow morning. 63 in Elmira, 60 right now in Rochester and Bradford checking in with a temperature of 57 degrees. Rather tranquil weather conditions here over the next 24 to 48 hours. Planning out the next 24 becoming clear overnight down about 32. So a frosty start to our morning tomorrow. But quite a bit of sunshine out there and 62 our five degree guarantee. So similar to where we were today, but it'll feel nicer just because we'll have more bright sunshine out there. Future track here. I'll advance through the period and really not much to see as we go through the next 48 hours. That's because high pressure and control to our north will keep our weather on the dry side. Low 60s for tomorrow, but to by Thursday as that high pushes off towards the east, the return flow comes up out of the south. So you'll notice a nice jump in temperatures Thursday afternoon. By then we'll be forecasting upper 60s. A few spots may flirt with 70 degrees. Temperatures today look like this. I forecast 66. We hit 65. Look for temperatures right around the freezing mark for lows tonight. Tomorrow's five degree guarantee 62 and our first warning seven day forecast is showing the dry conditions through Thursday. A few showers Friday. Most of the weekend is looking dry temperatures in the 60s and then a bit unsettled for early next week. Upper 50s to around 60. So uh, fingers crossed that the weekend will end up dry and yep. temperatures not too bad either with the uh, upper 60s Saturday. Not too bad at all, Joe. Well, I'm hoping for that nice weather. You had the tough turtle. I know a bunch of That's us here right. will nope. be up in Ithaca, the tough turtle uh, competition. There you so. go. And if you've got time to go up to uh, Buffalo, go to the Buffalo Wine Fest too. Lots going on. All right. Thank you so okay. much, Joe.